Okay guys, I wanted to share something with you guys and as you can see here is the uh, professional video surveillance camera system that they have. It's wireless uh, by Osix and I think I'm saying that right. It's O. You can see O S S X X. And I purchased this set on Amazon and I just basically wanted to go through this very quick with you guys. I'm not going to do an unboxing. I'm just going to show you the packaging. But this system comes with uh, silent features, and it has the email alarm, day and night auto switch, and it's the uh, 1080p 920, 1920, 1080. So I'll let you see the specs here. It's got the HD output. My camera just not working right. Um, so there's all the features: motion alarm, push me uh, messaging, uh, video compression in uh, H264 and so here you see you can go on your phone like iPhone, iPad, Android supports it all um, and as you can see easy monitor by your mobile so it's pretty simple simple uh, setup and here's the different cameras they have this would be the bullet camera that I have and it comes with the box and this is a one terabyte I don't want to show you too much information there but uh, as you can see there is the thing on the bottom it's one terabyte so this records right to a hard drive all the time you access through your network when you're not home you can see the cameras uh, from anywhere around the world as long as your network is not down and here it is the system set up on my TV now as you can see I have uh, one two three four five six on my my system you can add up to eight cameras on this and on my TV, I just have it set up as uh, I can basically go in and and watch my uh, cameras right on my TV. And if you have a tablet, you can just access it that way and set it up uh, anywhere as you want in the house. You want to take it with you outside or whatever. But I just wanted to show you guys this quick little setup and maybe some features in here that you guys, for setting this up, some people might have issues, don't know how to do it. But uh, I'll show you the box. So here's the box. I have it mounted to the back wall. If I can get my light on. And I just simply mounted it to the wall behind my entertainment system. And I got it plugged into my uh, network. And then it shows there it's working. So let's turn the light back off. And it constantly, the way I have it set up, it constantly records to the hard drive, no matter what. Um, when you have a motion, it triggers that motion and it records, it shows you a spot where that motion was triggered. And it shows you in particular on your hard drive where it is. I'll show you that here right now. So you can set up motion, uh, you can do a timer, certain times a day. I record all the time so let me see I'll show you so here's my mouse just right click and you bring up uh, system setup I'll put the password and stuff in just give me a second uh, you can also hook up a keyboard to this be a little quicker But you don't need it really. So let me get logged in. Okay, so here I am logged in. Sorry about that glare. I'm just going to show you a quick setup of how to get this thing up and running. I know a lot of people have issues with your uh, using a camera to repeat to another camera so you can travel your Wi-Fi distance further away um, you may even have to purchase another 
uh, repeater to put in your house. So say for instance, this is downstairs and you don't want to have, it's not getting a very good signal to your cameras. You can get a repeater to plug in your wall upstairs and it just travels the signal further. And then once you get connected to that one camera, it's outside and you can connect to another camera and another camera so you can share the Wi-Fi. It's pretty simple. So let's go in here to channel setup. Okay, so in here is right now it's set up for 128720. I went for the lowest setting possible because I don't really want to fill the hard drive up too fast. It automatically rewrites over, yes, but uh, as you can see, like right here, picture is pretty darn good. Here, I'll move this out of the way. I don't think it can. Okay, so anyways, let's go into... Uh, uh, so this is one camera. You can go in and edit one camera or all eight cameras. So you can select one and you can go in and name it and whatever. So let's go to general setup and uh, you can do timestamp on the side over here. You can change your time, screen setup, your HDD setup. You can go in here and you see this is your hard drive. Um, I use 96 gigabytes out of a terabyte. You can format it in here. Just go in here and format hard drive. You can get your HDD info. It's really, really straightforward, you guys. So let's just uh, go back into uh, video manage. Now, if you want to hook up more than one camera, and I uh, would say you you have four it came with your system but you want to hook up another one or all eight well what you do is you can go in here and once you hook your cameras up i recommend hooking your cameras up like inside first plug it in plug it in right to the box and then go in here and go uh, refresh and it'll pull up the next camera right here and then just say match code and it'll automatically put your cameras on the list down here okay so now if you want to use a camera that's outside as a repeater, so say for instance one camera is not picking up, but you got a camera uh, 20 feet away from it, so you can use that camera as a repeater because it's already picking up that Wi-Fi, right? So you can go in here to repeater. I'm just going to search. <laughs> so here's your channels. Your channels are your cameras. And as you can see, I don't have seven or eight. So I only have six cameras. And this one here is a router that I purchased. It's basically a repeater. They call It's called router, but it's actually a repeater. And I purchased another one to help me extend my Wi-Fi out to some more cameras. So channel four and six is on that repeater because I've had a hard time getting those cameras to connect to this box because <clears throat> they're at the other end of the house so I had to go purchase a repeater to grab the other ones at the other end of the house so what you do is you install that router on here and you install your router the same way I showed you how to hook up another camera you just go in and, and match code plug it right in directly into your box with your Ethernet cable and in match code well first you refresh It'll pick it up and then you just uh, match code and then it'll install right here. You'll see it. And then you can go in here and you can select your camera list. So when you click on here, you can just go and it'll say add a camera. You just click the add, like here's one, add. So I can add camera seven onto this camera, channel one. So right now I got channel one using as a repeater. So camera one and camera three are together on the main router on the repeater this is the other channels so I can go on this router then in this channel 4 and I can add uh, channel 2 if I want on here so if you understand that it's pretty simple and then on this side here you got your connect information and it shows that I only have six cameras and signal shows signal strength. <sighs> Channel one is actually in the house. And I don't know why it's got the lowest signal. It could be something to do with a router, 
something interfering with it, but it, it, oh, it, it seems to have a really weak signal. It's just at the end of the house here. So it shows your signal for each camera. Okay, so um, let's just cancel out of here. And here it shows all your channels. So they call IP cams. And it gives you the address to all of them. And then you get to have, you can set up uh, a password for each individual one, or you can set up a password for all, like I have now. See where it says router up here? That's actually the repeater. It will always stay there, right here. So I just wanted to give you that quick, uh, um, how that is quickly set up. It's very simple. Oh, and I wanted to show you how to do your motion, select your motion. So let's go to system setup. Let's go to channel. So I always recommend bitrate mode right here. Have it always in constant. And select video only. And you can go in and record setup. And in here is where I was talking about, you can set up your record of what type of recording you want. I have everything set up. So I have it set up at, uh, when it records, it shows the time of each trigger. So there's Allison dancing. <laughs> so it shows each one, as you can see, time. It's red, so I have it all set up. Uh, to record all the time motion so I have it every time there's something triggering it as the green all through the hours and of the day so whatever happens it triggers and shows me green on my recording hard drive and then if there's an alarm the yellow is all the time I have it set all the time so every time there's a trigger on, uh, alarm on my hard drive if I want to go back and see it I can see the yellow on the bar if there was a motion on my hard drive on the bar like a video bar it'll show okay this is where every motion was picked up and then the red will constantly record i'll show you that so let's go into uh let's go back now if i want to go in and show you that i can go into video uh video playback it's right in the area where you can't see. Okay, so now it shows me all my cameras. They're all loading in here slowly. And this is now, okay? There's outdoors. This would be my front door. This is my backyard. And this is the other side be front door or whatever and this will be my kitchen and then you also have five and six that I don't have shown on here so I can go click five and six there's five and six did I just show you that can you see it there it is so you can only select four at a time So it's showing you four. So I can only show you four at a time. But anyways, that's not the point. I want to go show you, say, okay, for instance, my my uh, front door. We'll just go to front door. So that'd be camera two. So we're just going to select camera two on hard drive. So search for camera two. Then we're going to go down and we're going to say search. So here's camera two. This is what was going on out throughout the day. Uh, family was sitting out there on the deck so on camera 2 it shows you down here you see the colors if I can get the colors pick up you'll see the green you'll see the red and yellow so there's the triggers I was telling you about so if something happened on my motion so I think this was motion all the time because we were all here moving them. So I would say, you 
if you want something happening and you got motion and there was only a green spot showing here well then you click on that and find out what that motion was you probably got the idea but you can actually go back and you can say play or you can back up that file and uh, you can put it on an SD or a little USB dongle or hard drive and, and you can take it to wherever you want but I just wanted to show you the way this set up. It's pretty cool. Let's just exit out of here real time now. So here we are on real time. So when it's motion, it will show a little man. And it's showing it's picking up sound. Or sorry, it's showing it's uh, picking up uh, signal. So you've got all your signal for each camera. This one actually has motion going on right now. I think I got my motion a little sensitive. Uh, it's picking up motion on three cameras right now. I think it's because there's flies flying around in it. If you go anything above 50, you're going to have... Uh, you're going to pick up everything. So I recommend keeping your cameras around 50%. Now, there's no motion in the kitchen, as you can see. So there's no yellow man. There's no little man up there. Just shows you the signal. Now I'm going to take you outside and show you where I have my camera set up. I wanted to do this video at night time just so you can see the night vision on how good these really work. I mean there's no light on outside at all really. Just my yard little lights. And look at the night vision it's picking up. It's pretty good. So let's just take a little walk outside and have a look at my placement of the cameras, a couple of them anyway, and um, show you what it looks like. Let's just walk outside. <laughs> you can see all my yard lights out here. Look how well it lit up my lawn now, just from that camera. So I have a camera over here. I don't know if you can pick it up. There it is. You see that red, three red dots? That's the night vision. And that is picking up really good. Let's turn the light on and see what happens. There it is. I got my light on. So I have a camera on each corner of the house. There's one there. And then there's one down there. And they're little bullet cameras. They work really good. They're good for, uh, oh, I just turned the night vision off. My flashlight turned it out. As you can see, there's the camera. And the only thing I don't like about having cameras is it's like the fucking spiders, pardon my language, like to do a show for you. There's the other camera. I heard a bug hit me right in the forehead. There's the other camera right there. And they're just tiny. They're white. They blend in. Perfect little setup, you guys. I love it. <laughs> and here's my other camera. You see right here, there's two of them. I just turned night vision out. This one's going to be moved. It's going to be facing this way. And then that one's facing the whole backyard. And then there's another camera down there. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to buy some more cameras. And when I do buy some more cameras, I will actually show you how to set them up. Some people's have problems with getting the cameras to uh, pick up and... Uh, work because their camera was so far away from the box and it wasn't getting the proper signal you don't use your house wi-fi on these cameras at all so if you have junky wi-fi in your home don't worry about it um, these have their own network you plug it in and your camera's all registered to that network its own network ip address and it puts out the signal from the box to these cameras and some people get in the, the mess that, well, this camera is too far away from that router box or hard drive. It's in there at my TV or wherever you have it. And it's not picking the Wi-Fi up from that. 
that's where that other repeater comes in handy. So if you get your box at one end of the house, you go buy a repeater and put it at the other end of the house, and you can connect to those cameras to that. And then the repeater is hooked to your main box. So you can take that camera. For instance, you have two cameras down here, and they're not uh, one camera's not getting picked up good enough by the box. You can use the actual camera that is being picked up by the box and use it as a repeater for the other camera. That's the awesome thing. So I just wanted to show you that. I know I did this video at nighttime. And uh, just to show you the night vision. There, they're back on again. Just to show you the night vision on these cameras because it's they it's remarkable. Um, you can actually almost see the color of people's clothes when they're at a certain distance from this camera. So like easy 30, 40 feet, you can see pretty good what they're wearing. I'm not kidding you. I just built the deck on, got it all done. I got some stuff, other things I got to do around the house. I've been busy straight out. Building, building, uh, putting up decks and building, uh, or setting up poles and putting, building decks. Like, I've been straight out tired. So, I just wanted to show you this video. Oh my god, look at the bugs. Uh oh, right there, yeah. Whoops. Turn the fan back on. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Like just look at the picture quality. I don't even have it on its highest setting either. So it's pretty good. It works really good. So there's night vision. As you've seen, it was completely dark out there. And look at it. It's lit up pretty good. Like I said, spiders like to do little displays for you. They like to dangle in front of the camera and put it on a show. I got some cobwebs around this one. But anyway, you guys, that's the uh, Osix uh, camera system. And it holds up to eight. And it's professionally bought, packaged, and they give you all the hardware you need to mount them. It's pretty much plug and play. So you take it out. You uh, plug all your cameras in. Actually, you'd be better off if you set one up at a time. So you take your camera out of the box. You get this hard drive set up. Plug it in. And then you take and you set up every each individual camera. Like one at a time. So you plug one camera into the box. And the outlet. And you set it up the way I showed you and it's pretty much plug and play like there's really not too much you gotta do to it other than your emotion and and how your preferences you want but I mean that's pretty simple you gotta put a password in for your network and you gotta set up your email and for your email alerts all you gotta do is just go in and the sender would be your email the receiver will be the same email and then you put the password in uh, you put a password in for your main hard drive for your box itself so people can't just tap into it whenever they want um and it's pretty good so i do recommend this company um they it works really good it's very professional and if you had a problem with the camera they're there they will help and they're not going to ignore your emails um they give you a phone number to call and it's all a jet you just give them a call and they will help you set it up. If you have an issue with signal issues, they will send you a free repeater. Um, if you have a camera problem, I've already had a camera problem. Um, it didn't seem like night vision was working right, uh, but they sent me another camera. And there was no questions asked. And, and no problem. But other than that, I just wanted to show this to you guys. They also have different camera systems like I started to talk about and this is the one I have um, you can purchase different ones 
and they have the one I like it's got sound you can have it set up so it's tracing so the camera will turn slowly and then also the it, when it tracks something it will follow it but I don't quite know the complete full features on that so I couldn't get any detail I, I plan on buying one eventually but right now all the cameras I have are bullet cameras and they come with sound uh, 1080p and they are 1080p it comes to one terabyte hard drive you can update your hard drive anytime you want it's not hard at all um, awesome system so if you have any questions about this I just want to share it with you but if you have a question don't be afraid to you know ask I'll try to answer your question uh, I purchased this on Amazon for half price it was regular price is 400 bucks uh, sometimes a little more but I got this for 200 bucks and it's well worth it and if you want to purchase an individual camera just for the bullet camera itself it's around 80 bucks 60 something dollars somewhere around there you can get them a good deal but you can get the cameras and update to eight, to eight of them if you want and uh like i said i recommend this product and it works really good so thanks for watching you guys if you like this video please rate and subscribe share share is uh, nice to be uh helps me out a little bit but uh, you might know somebody out there has is looking for something and review and uh, you can basically just uh, share. So thanks for watching you guys. Later.